Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you do enjoy this video, make sure to get a big thumbs up. On the screen are today's shout outs. Thank you all so much for your comments and your support. If you also want a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe and turn notifications on in the first 20 people to comment hashtag chillification squad once you've done that. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make some fidget toys. Some poppet fidget toys, a squishy fidget, and more. All these fidgets are super cool and easy to make. I'm currently having a limited time sale in my slime shop. If you use the code SPRING, you will get 20% off your entire order. And it is linked down below in the description box. So without any further ado, let's get into today's video! First up, we'll be making a really cool DIY stress ball. And for this, you will be needing a plastic bag. So open your plastic bag and then you're gonna put in whatever add-ins you want. So here are the add-ins I'm gonna be adding in here. Some pom-poms and some star glitters. So I'm just gonna take a handful. Now I'm gonna put in some star glitters. If you watched my last day, you know exactly what is in here. If you guessed it correctly, it is some pink stars. And now for the part that's gonna make it the stress ball, you are gonna add in some clear glue. So just open it and we're gonna pour it in. And just a little bit more. You're gonna put enough clear glue to cover pom-poms or like the stuff that you put in. Just like that. And now we're gonna close this. Try to get all the air out. And already, it looks super duper cool. Like, you can push all the pom-poms. So then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bag, we're gonna leave some space, make sure everything is like down, and then we are gonna twist it. So when you have it twisted like this, we are gonna secure this so that it doesn't open. You can either tape it really tightly, staple it, or hot glue it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape it and staple it. Right now I'm taking a piece and I'm just making sure I really tightly secure it. And then I'm taking my stapler and I'm stapling it shut. Just like that. Now what we can do is we're just gonna cut off the top right after the staple. And this we can throw out. Now we have a DIY stress ball. You guys, look at this. This thing is super cool. Like the fact that it's clear, looks really nice. You can see through it and you can see all of the pom-poms and add-ins. And once, even once there's air bubbles, if you just let it sit, all the air bubbles will rise, just like in clear slime. This edge toy is also really nice and I highly recommend it. Next, I will show you guys how to make a DIY poppet fidget. Then you will take some packaging tape. I got mine from Staples. It is like the thick packaging tape for boxes. So start unrolling the tape. And then you are just gonna place it just like this. Make sure the sticky side is up. Then I'm gonna take my scissors and cut it. So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna take some glitters. Right here I have some orange, some pink, and some blue fine glitter. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sprinkle it onto the sticky side of the tape. Just like that. And then if I want, I can even try to spread it out with my finger. Next, you're going to take your other glitters and you're just going to sprinkle it on to the tape. You can do as many colors as you want. And then I'm taking the blue. And just like that. Once you sprinkled on your glitter onto the tape, we're going to take the tape again. And now we are going to cover this. So be very careful right here. Make sure you line up the edges and then you're gonna tape it on. And then press on it so that there's no air bubbles. It should look something like this. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be tracing circles onto this. So right here I have this like paint bottle and then I have a marker right here. And now I'm just gonna trace the circle. So first I'm gonna trace it on the blue glitter. Now I'm gonna trace it on the pink, and then on the orange, just like that. Now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna cut out each of the circles. First, I'm just gonna cut them into little squares. Now I'm gonna cut out all the circles.
And circle number three. So the good thing is, is I used washable marker. So I'm just smudging off the excess of the black marker. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a tiny slit in each of the circles. We're gonna cut it about halfway, just like that. Next, take some preferably clear tape. You're gonna take the slit and you're gonna basically put the flap over itself like that, and then we are gonna tape it. Now we're gonna do the same to the pink. Right here, once again, putting the flap over it to make a cone shape. And then we're taping it. And then you should have three cones. Next, you will need some cardboard. Make sure your cardboard isn't too thick or it'll be too hard to cut through. I'm gonna draw what I want the base of my poppet to be. So I want the base to be a cloud, so that's what I'm gonna draw. So I'm just gonna take my cones, place them on for reference to see how big I want the cloud to be. Now I just placed my little cones on top of the cloud, and I'm going to trace them. And now we are going to cut this out. Okay, right here I have some scissors. And now here's the tricky part, we're going to try to cut out the circles. To do this, I'm going to fold it, and I'm going to cut a slit. For this step, it is nice if your scissors are nice and sharp. You can also use a box cutter or an X-Acto knife. Make sure you do not cut over your lines. It's actually better if you cut underneath your outline. That looks pretty good, and now I'm going to do the same thing with the other circles. So right over here it is once I finish cutting it out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to erase all of like the pencil marks that I have. We are going to put them on top. So I'm going to start off with the pink one. Next, I'm going to take some of the thick tape and I'm going to cut it into pieces. Now I'm going to tape the pink cone onto the fidget base. Make sure to tape it really securely. On the inside, I have four pieces of the tape. Now I'm going to tape the outside. So I finished taping the pink one, and I'm going to do the same thing with the orange and blue. I just finished taping on all of the cones, and here is our complete fidget toy. You guys, it looks super cute. I love the sparkles. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this. And yeah, now let's pop them. It works just like a pop-it fidget toy, and it is really, really cute. I would definitely see myself playing with this fidget toy. It looks super cool. And yeah, I would rate this fidget toy a 10 out of 10. For this next fidget toy, you will need a straw, preferably like a bendy one. Then you will also need some mini rubber bands. These are super small. If you do not have these, you can use rainbow loom and then just like twist them twice and you'll get a small size. So then all you're gonna do is you're gonna take two or one and you're just going to put it onto the straw. And then you're going to put another one. This step is optional. But next what we're going to do is we're going to take some pom-poms. I actually made these. If you want a tutorial, let me know in the comments. So what we're going to do is you're going to glue them onto the sides of the straw. So right over here I have some Elmer's glue. I'm just going to take it. So actually gluing it on isn't working too well. So I recommend using a hot glue gun, but in my case, I'm just going to staple it on. Just like that. And then we're going to staple it on the other side. And now you have your actual fidget toy complete. I know right now it doesn't look that interesting, but how this works is you're going to take the bands and it's actually super fun to just go like this. Since you have the bendy straw, it is also a really nice fidget toy like this. Super satisfying to pull it. And then you have your nice pom-poms on the sides. And then you can also like do this trick if you know how to do it. I think this fidget toy is really unique. And I actually came up with this fidget toy idea completely by myself. And I'd, if you have all of the materials, I'd highly recommend making this.
So I'm gonna read this fidget toy a 10 out of 10. So right over here are all of the fidget toys we made today. Right here we have the Poppet fidget. Super nice, I really like this one. Then we have this one. I don't really have a name for it. Comment down below. I think this one is really, really nice. I really like this. And then we have the Stress Ball fidget. Comment down below which fidget was your favorite and which one you will try out. Make sure to check part one to my fidget toy video where I show you guys how to make some other really cool fidgets. It'll be linked down below in the description box. So that was pretty much it for this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and it'd be super duper awesome if you'd subscribe. By the way, check out my slime shop. It'll be linked down below as well. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video.